Oh, hi there. I wanted to make a video uh, talking about Jason Umaru. Uh, somewhat popular in uh, Canada. He's got about 30,000 subscribers. Uh, he doesn't look like a standard paid lackey of YouTube, so he doesn't obviously make the big bucks. And he doesn't look like he got sponsored just because he had a shoe in. He, you know, he had to build uh, from the ground up. Um, the thing is, I genuinely don't like his approach on a lot of subjects. It's not that he doesn't tell it properly in the sense that he's um, going through an overview of a particular subject uh, in every video. And it's done in such a way that anyone can watch it and um, they're not going to, you know, take it too seriously, overreact. Uh, panic, do something stupid, or anything like that. And I mean, it wasn't that many decades ago you could talk about communism and stuff like that. Um, so, in such a way uh, that you wouldn't have people getting offended. And in that respect, I have to say he's done a good job. And even though I have a completely different belief system than him, uh, it's actually given me a shoe in to, you know, look at things from a, a different perspective as well. Uh, because obviously, um, you know, ideologies change over the years and different circumstances and different reasons. And they become something other than what they originally were. And I think that's what Jason Uru was trying to do when he spoke fondly of Mao Zedong, uh, Lenin, Stalin, and all those guys, is he tried perpetuating an image of them that isn't accurate, but it doesn't really matter because uh, they're long since gone, and further investigation, and it's clear to everyone exactly what those characters were like. Um, history typically is written by the winners, so okay, some things uh, may not be historically accurate uh, as far as actual policies, quotations, and everything else that may have or, or may not have gone on during those times. But for the most part, the, the bulk of it you can kind of trust because it's just there's no room to lie about it, there's no advantage. Um, however, uh, Jason Uru, he has a slant on current events, and for some people, it's exactly what they want to hear. Uh, my problem with that is it, it's not a pro-Western point of view. That's the main thing. So, basically, it's a negative towards us. And although I haven't watched any of his videos for quite some time because I just got fed up with him and I got fed up with his trolls that are always on his page. Um, I'm sure he's more or less stayed the same and you know you would think he wouldn't like Trudeau. I actually haven't looked into that. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't like him but you would think he would like him because of how um, his approach is on things. Um, he's Justin Trudeau is a feminist, he's this, that, and the other, he's all about equality, uh, bringing in migrants and things like that, and I have no idea what Jason Nimmer thinks. I, I quickly scrolled through his um, his uh, video uploads, and I noticed uh, that he hadn't mentioned uh, Justin Trudeau's uh, trip to India. Maybe he doesn't have any insight on it. Uh, I mean, he makes his videos brief. Whereas I don't, because he knows his uh, viewers have a short attention span and don't want to watch something that's longer than six minutes. I mean, I can't entirely blame people, but you have to understand, you know, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to explain things to people. And, you know, it takes longer than six minutes if you want to go into any detail about anything, really. So if all your videos are, you know, six minutes and under, that's not really informing people. That's you know, telling your narrative, and that's all you have time for. So, you don't have time to explain, you know, um, how it could be construed as wrong in, in 
any kind of um, you know broader perspective. It's just quickly you say your thing, you're done. And uh, you know there's a lot of questionable things in his logic that uh, I particularly don't agree with. And it's not such a bad thing for young people to grow up listening to that sort of stuff because it don't make no difference anyway. It's just uh, an alternate version of history, really. But it strokes the egos of um, certain uh, powerful individuals within Canada, for sure, that, um, you know, uh, are very filthy, disgusting people. And we don't need to coddle to them. I mean, as anyone who's seen some of my videos will know, uh, you know who exactly who I'm talking about. Um, I would not get on my hands and knees and kiss ass like Jason Unruh does. And those people that he's kissing ass to don't deserve it either, and they won't be grateful for it. In fact, they'll think we're weak because of what Jason Unruh's doing. I know this is small potatoes, but in the grand scheme of things, there can't be people in the future who adopt his philosophies and try to perpetuate them on a louder stage and think that it's okay. Um, you, know, you know, a lot of people are going to disagree with a lot of things I have to say, and that's fine. But, um, you know, I don't hear enough open criticism of Jason Unger. I know in the past he's run down a few people who have made popular videos that uh, he didn't like. Um, and he's you know, like, if you offend him, out come the insults. Uh, because he knows his fan base, uh, you know, it, all he has to do is throw insults at somebody, and all of a sudden, that person's wrong. Well, uh, guess what? Anyone could throw insults, and it doesn't make them right. Um, I really ought to watch his videos. I mean, as I said, they're not very long, so it's you know, not a big commitment. And it doesn't matter if I don't agree with what he's got to say. Uh, it's hearing a different perspective. And, you know, a lot of people go, oh, well, you're the one with the fascist flag in the background. I agree. It is a fascist flag. However, this flag, as I said in another video, was uh, made in China. So it's a fascist flag from China. Not from Nazi Germany, a country that's been defunct for over 70 years. Um, Jason Unruh, you know, with his stupid button on his got on his arm, and uh, his communist music, and his praise of Mao Zedong, and all that sort of stuff, uh, that is fascism, no matter what he calls it. Uh, he can call it communism, he can call it socialism, he can call it anything he wants, it doesn't matter. All it is is an authoritarian uh, telling people what to think instead of challenging them to think. And I don't think he does that enough. I guess he does a little bit on time to time, but you will notice that uh, on a lot of his videos, there isn't a quick answer to debunk him. And I don't think this is because of intelligence on his own part. I'd actually heard his online books were mediocre at best. Uh, what it more has to do with is that he's got uh, people upstairs, you know, real historians that uh, kind of give him the, uh, the gist of things real quickly. And he's got unfiltered, uh, unbiased uh, information, which he turns into filtered bias information because he has that ability to. And it's not because he's, you know, spent 20 years inside a book like those historians have. Uh, it's because he's got a cheat sheet. Uh, you try to do that on YouTube, uh, you're not going to get the answers you want to hear. You're going to get um, a lot of blurry video, a lot of bias, uh, commentary, and you can't entirely trust it. Because as people don't know, um, the internet lies a lot. And before the internet came around, books lied a lot. The books became the internet. Uh, the same mentality was there. 
and some people have access to better books and it's not necessarily a question of money with the internet it doesn't matter if you have fiber optics t4 whatever if the information on the internet is structured in such a way that you cannot argue with what information is presented to you even knowing it knowing your heart that it's wrong um, then it doesn't make any difference some people are just fortunate that they have um, other sources of information and Jason Uru has guys that don't make videos of their own but guaranteed have input on his channel because he mentioned them quite often uh, John Doe, Red Scare, Marxist 101 or whatever it was and others whereas uh, guys like me we uh, uh, you know we have to operate on our own and uh, you know, uh, not asking for a handout here, but uh, uh, a fair playing field uh, would be uh, a bit more appreciated if we were to live in a society where people's opinions matter um, and that we really are free to choose um, what our belief system is, ideological beliefs, and that we're not under a shadowy hand's thumb because that's what it feels like it feels like a hand out from the shadow and it's got a thumb on you and it's basically constricting and destroying your ability to think outside of that box that they put you in uh, and any attempt to contradict it and you'll just look foolish because you, you don't have your ABC's on how to contradict it with you because no such information is readily available and it's guys like Jason Unru who specialize in that they like the idea that you can't quickly Google search something I mean of course you can Google search uh, Stalin and it'll say all the th bad things he did this that and the other and you can really look into it but guys like him just dismiss that. It's just like, oh, it was an exaggeration. Oh, the Gulag Archipelago was really more of a work camp. Everyone has work camps. Or, you know, like a prison, I should say, not a work camp. But, you know, although it, it bloody well was. But anyway, uh, so, like, you'll get people coming out of the woodwork saying, no, it was a prison. Everyone has prisons. Uh, no, 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 it's not like that at all, really. Uh, those are some of the points I wanted to bring up, and uh, I, I will mention Jason Unru a bit more, uh, watch his videos, and contradict him where he's obviously wrong. Because although he's presenting information, you know, in sort of a pleasant and uh, understandable way, you know, considering the nature of the subject, um, it's still for an evil purpose and um, you know there there has to be a voice of contradiction uh, I'm all for that because despite what some people label this symbol as uh, a discussion with me is not of a authoritarian fascist standpoint I don't tell people what to think I give them the option to think of things from a different perspective, which is not what Jason Uru does, which is not what a lot of other YouTubers do. A lot of other YouTubers, it's their story, their way, and if you contradict them, you're going to get ignored, and you're probably going to get blocked if you're really pushy about it. And those types, uh, I mean, to be honest with you, they get on my nerves. Can't stand them. Uh, because a lot of the times they're not right and they just figure well they'll just tell their story their way and if no one can actually stop them then they'll get away with it and obviously if you have half a brain and someone's telling you something a stupid version of uh, events as well um, you should get offended by that even if they're trying to be pleasant and uh, you know, understanding, and actually Jason Uru is not always pleasant on understanding. Uh, he's pitching a story, and um, a lot of times, uh, you know, uh, he doesn't sound like the nicest of persons. But anyway, uh, I'm going to leave this out here, and I will talk to you people later. Have a good one.